guys, Julia here from JM Squared Vintage. Welcome back to the channel. I am here today with a bins haul. I actually have kind of a huge bins haul, but this is an interesting one. This is a combination of two different bins locations, but I'm just connecting this in my head right now that all of this shopping was done last Friday. That's last Friday to me now when I'm filming this, which is Good Friday. Of course, schools were closed, businesses were closed, now it makes sense. But anyway, I went to my favorite, you know, my favorite location and usually I get there like around opening. It's pretty mellow for the first two or three hours and that's usually when I like to operate. I don't like to be rushed, I don't like to be crowded. I'm very, you know, I'm not somebody who's, I'm not gonna be aggressive. It's just not my nature. But I was there within about 45 minutes. I don't know if they were like a group that was all together. They all seemed to know each other but like 40 additional people rolled in and they were very aggressive. Like I could not get in to like one of the bins during a table change. I, I just like, I couldn't even get in. They were just like shoulder to shoulder. And it wasn't like bins bros that are looking for something like pretty specific. They're looking for vintage t-shirts or whatever. Like I'm completely cool with them. We're looking for different things. And I'll always make sure if I see something that I'll like put it on top to make sure that, you know, one of them gets to see it. But this was a group of people that were just, I mean, within seconds of us being allowed into the bins, they had 40 pieces on their shoulders, you know, and taking it back. Like there was literally like nothing left in the bin. So I packed it up, I checked out with what I had, and I drove to another location in the area that's also a dollar per item. And I did pretty good. I, I can't wait to share some of these things with you. I have some really cool pieces, uh, really unique pieces that I can't wait to talk about, including two special guest pieces that came from somebody very special. So stay tuned for those. I'll show you guys those at the end. But before we get started here, guys, if you are new, first and foremost, welcome. Uh, I'm Julia. We talk all things thrifting and vintage and reselling on the internet. If that sounds like something that you are into, be sure to hit subscribe down below. I'd love to have you along on this journey. But without further ado, guys, I have so much to show you, so much to talk about so go grab yourself a snack grab yourself a drink you know I have my matcha latte uh. sit back relax and let's get in to the goods so we'll kick this off here with a very cool piece that I find I very rarely find free people kimonos and this is like the second one I found in a month this is a, I can't I have this down in my spreadsheet and I can't remember what it's called but this is just a basic little kimono it's kind of a taupe color and the back is this like net crochet. Can you see that texture there? Uh, pretty excited to find this. This is in like brand new condition. So excited to find this in perfect condition. This is like the right time to find something like this. I'll probably get about $30 for this and I would not be surprised if this sells within days of me listing it. These kind of kimonos always are a pretty quick sell for me, but when I find something that's like free people or a really desirable brand, they go lightning quick. Next up here, now this is kind of an interesting thing. This is a Lucky Brand jumpsuit. And I don't pull a lot of Lucky Brand in general. If I'm pulling Lucky Brand, it's only gonna be like their kind of more ornate boho shirts. They tend to sell well for me. They're more in the bread and butter range. You know, I'm not gonna be getting like 30, 40 dollars for them. I'll get like 20 to 25, but this I grabbed, and I wish you could feel this. This legit feels like silk. This is a wide leg jumpsuit. It's got pockets. It's got this cute little like ruffle detail on the neckline and around the back. It's a size large, like large jumpsuits have been flying out of my closet recently. It's got a little bit of an elastic waist. It's in fantastic shape. But something like this, I'll probably get like 30 to 35 on. And again, a great one piece wonder, like these go fast. For whatever reason, jumpsuits move super, super fast for me. So definitely something to be on the lookout for. And again, you know, with Lucky, let me know if you do well with Lucky. Cause I feel like there's a lot of people out there that do sell a ton of Lucky brand. I just have to be selective because I have other things that I've picked that sit for ye literally years. But the boho shirts go fast for me and something like this, it kind of doesn't matter the brand as long as the quality is nice, I'll pick it up. Next up here, now this is something that I, I do pull <laughs> and, I, and I have a suggested tag like keyword for this, but this is a vintage cocktail dress from Tadashi. As in Tadashi Shoji, this is like the old tag, hold on. That's the vintage tag you're looking for there. And these were super high end. These were sold at like, these were sold at like Neiman Marcus and you can tell like the quality's there. 
But something like this, now I don't know if you can see, so this is like sheer lace, obviously you can see through there, but there is jeweled all along the lace and it's in like perfect condition. I don't think that there's even a single jewel missing. There's no snags in the lace. Now this is something, you know, it's kind of bodycon, it's stretchy. This would be like a little black mini dress. Of course I will use little black dress, LBD in the keywords. Something like this, I would use revenge dress. <laughs> I swear to God, this is something that has been popping up in like TikTok and people talk, you know, so Princess Diana, if you are unfamiliar, after her divorce from Prince Charles, came out on the town in this unbelievable, like she was just gorgeous to start with, but she came out in this gorgeous dress. I'll see if I can find a picture of it and put it right here. Um, but you know, it was, she was a smoke show. It was like tight and it was short, you know, and she was finally like out of the bounds of like the royal, you know, restrictions in terms of what she could wear. So people have been looking for revenge dresses and this is 100% something that I would put revenge dress. You know, it's got enough coverage to make it a little bit demure, but like the fit and the length is gonna make it sexy. So I don't know what I'll get on this. You know, vintage Tadashi, maybe 35 bucks, but either way, just a little tip. You know, there's so much room for, you know, you can put as many keywords as you want. Don't stuff, but like, you know, you can put as many keywords as you want. And if you have tight little black dresses, Try using Revenge Dress and see how that does for you. Next up here, this is from Young, Fabulous, and Broke. So fun story, I, about a year ago, I was shopping and I found a shirt, it was double gauze actually, with this tag and I just grabbed it. I had gotten it at, uh, I think the local Salvation Army. And when I got it home, I noticed that it said YFB and I'm like, oh my God, that's somebody like knocking off free people. And somebody chimed in and was like, that's Young, Fabulous, and Broke. That's another one of their tags. Now, I've sold a million Young, Fabulous, and Broke pieces. I've, I had never seen that tag before, which is interesting because Young, Fabulous, and Broke is not like a copycat brand. Anyway, it's this really cute tie-dye double gauze dress. It's got a little something here, which I'm going to see if I can get out. It looks like it's sitting on top of the fabric, but this is in otherwise fabulous condition. It's a slight high-low. It's a midi length. It's kind of like a caftan that you throw on like at the beach or whatever. It's a size small medium. And I will say that this is a very generous size. I am not a small or a medium and I'm pretty sure that this would fit me. When I did some searches for this particular model, the resale values, like the comps, the sold comps were like 50 to $80. So I'm not gonna bank on that, but definitely something to look out for. And it is as soft as soft can be. I love the double gauze is a thing now. Next up here, this is a pair of Adriana Goldschmied, the protege pants. I believe these are men's. These usually sell pretty quick for me, not for nearly as much as they used to. This is size 32, 34. They're gray, they're in fantastic shape. Um, I'll still probably see like 35 bucks on these. These, like Adriana Goldschmied sells for like $250. They're very expensive. And you know, a couple of years ago, these would have gone for like $100, but these will still get, you know, a good $35. And with a $1 cost, I mean, all day, that's, that's a great buy, but definitely something to keep in mind as you are sourcing. If you are in a situation where you're sourcing for a higher dollar amount, this is just not a brand that's selling for what it used to. So, you know, use your own internal calculator to make sure that they're worth it. If that's something you're considering picking up. Oh, next up, I love this little piece. I saw these stripes and I love a cabana stripe. I love it, I love it, I love it. So this is from a brand called Rue Steak? Rustic? I don't know how that's pronounced. If you guys know, let me know. I believe this was sold at Anthropology at one point and this is just a cute little cotton tiered dress. It's midi length. It's got a little drawstring in the waist but that waist is elasticized. So it's not gonna like, it's not gonna be rigid on the waistline. Of course, we've got elastic around the top and elastic around the arms, cute little flutter sleeves. So this brand has pretty decent sold comps. I wanna say I'll probably see between 35 and $45 on this. Uh, this was a great find and this was something I, I didn't know that brand at all. I didn't know it until I got it home. And I just kinda got red on this one. And again, the perfect time to be finding dresses like this. Next up, now this was such an interesting thing and I don't know, there are some moth holes in it, but this is something I just might keep in my closet. This is just a black silk overshirt. This is definitely from either like, I think this is probably early 90s. Just like looking at this tag, this feels like early 90s. This feels like something I would have seen in like, 
one of the artsy stores back in like 1992. The brand on it is Hopsack. Now Hopsack is, makes it kind of difficult to search because Hopsack is a fabric. It's like something that they make blazers out of. But this is just like kind of a long oversized silk blouse. Again, there are tiny little moth holes in here. I don't know if you can see them because like the light's coming in this direction, but yeah, I don't know if it's something that I'll sell. I think that this might be something that I just keep in my closet. It's got like, it's kind of double breasted. It's kind of shaped like a trench coat. Oh, I like that the buttons are red too. You know, something I'll wear to like a concert. You know, this is like something that I would wear when I'm like making a look, but I just couldn't leave this behind. And like the quality of the build is really nice and the quality of the silk is really nice. So you can tell that this was probably a pretty expensive piece back in the day. Again, not something that I think I can sell, but um, a cool piece regardless. Very new wave, very 80s goth club. You know, I'm here for it. That's my vibe. Oh, this, these were interesting. Okay, so these were like the last thing I grabbed at that first bins location before I left. And I did not have time to comp it, but I picked them up and I'm like, this feels like silk. I didn't even look at the tag. I just grabbed it and threw it in my bag. You know, I'm like, okay, this, this feels nice. I'm gonna grab it. So the brand on this is Townsend. And I had never heard of Townsend before, but Townsend is a pretty dang expensive brand. These are 100% silk twill. They're so pretty. They're this like watercolor print and they have nice details. They have like little stitch stripes on the side. They have like bound edges here on the pockets. It's a size large. This, these retailed for like $200. So I'm not quite sure what the resale on these are. I think it's around 35 to 45. I don't think I was able to find this exact model, but I just think that they are so pretty and I'm glad I grabbed them. I mean, it just goes to show if you're able to source for a really low dollar amount and maybe you're in a rush or whatever the case may be, if you feel something like this, like as, you know, if, if you're somebody who's just starting out and you haven't really developed your like, you know, spidey sense for quality, you know, take a chance. You know, what's the worst that happens? I, I donate this back, but have any of you ever found something from Townsend and sold it? Let me know down below. I'm interested to hear, you know, how popular this brand is. Next up, oh my God, three silk pieces in a row. <laughs> Makes me happy. So this is from Everlane. I love finding Everlane. Their stuff is always really nice quality. This is just a nice little sleeveless blouse. It's peach, it's in fabulous condition. Size small. This is something that probably retailed like 50 to 60. I think that's about what their washable silk, like their smaller washable silk pieces went for. So this will go for probably 25 to 30. No questions asked. I mean, it's a good closet staple. It's a classic color. It's a classic fit. So uh, this is something that will go and it is, I love Everlane silk. It is so nice. Next up, no, oh my God. Okay, so I've talked about these. If you have ever, if you have been with me for a little while, you know I've talked about these Free People Henleys with the knit cuffs. And this, I, so I found one. I like, I finally found one. These things have been so popular for so long. And now of course it's summer, so the prices are going down. But I felt this and there's no tag. There's no tag whatsoever. The tag has been cut out there. There's no fabric content tag but I knew what this was. This is 100% free people. And these are the cuffs that everybody loves. They're kind of like sweater knit cuffs. You know, these in their heyday would go for like over $100 on resale. And they like retailed, I think only for like 89 bucks. So they were going over retail in resale because they were hard to find. But this is kind of the ideal one. This is like the exact one. Everybody, you know, like if you put a chunky cuff if you put like, you know, free people chunky cuff into the search bar, you will see there's a million different chunky cuff Henleys that they have and I've found several. And if you watched my videos, you've seen a bunch of different models come through, but this is the exact, this line, this exact line is the one that everybody wants. And this is the texture of the Henley. Let me see if I can get you close on that. Can you see that? So it's not like a traditional waffle. It's a little bit different. These are raised instead of depressed. It's just very, very distinctive. And I knew exactly what it was when I found it. I think this is a size large. These are very slim fit. So I'm interested to see what this sells for now. And, but go figure, I find it in April. Next, uh, now this was one that I grabbed. This was another one that I grabbed with those shorts like as I was on my way out. This is Wild Fox. I don't pick up a ton of Wild Fox. It doesn't sell as much as, as well as it used to, but 
This is a cute little like summer piece with a little pineapple on the front with daisies on it and those daisies are embroidered and that's why I picked it up because these daisies are still pretty hot and you know Wild Fox is still a very expensive brand like this is French Terry this was probably $100 new. For something like this I'll probably get like $25 five to 32 but you know again something that I'm only really sourcing because I'm able to get it really inexpensively like I probably wouldn't roll the dice especially with something long sleeve right now but because this is short sleeve because it has the embroidered daisies because this has the motif and because of the time of the season this is something that I did pick up and again I think I'll probably see somewhere between 25 and 32 on that. Now, next up, you know I love a grandma moment, and this just felt like the best granny windbreaker ever. I think that I, this has a couple little, like, light stains on it. I'm going to see if I can get them out. Again, I got this. Ooh. There's a key in the pocket. <laughs> What's it do? Schlage Primus. This feels like a pretty heavy-duty key. It's a do not duplicate. Treasure. I love treasure. So interesting. So I think this is so cute. I mean, if I can get this cleaned up, I'll probably see like 30 bucks for it. And this is 100% something that will sell on Depop. I love the colors. Like that's primarily the reason I got it. It is true vintage. I like the kind of pastel colors. They're having a moment with the preppiness this year. This also gives me like all of the warm Rose Island vibes that I need. And I just couldn't leave this behind. So keep your fingers crossed that I can get this cleaned up and I can get it in a new life. But I just thought that this was so cute. I, again, like this is something that will probably sell on Depop, but I just, I love those little moments. So next up here, this is a cute little free people piece. This is like a little halter romper. And this was something that was like wedged in the corner of a bin. Like this was so like crumpled in a ball that I'm sure nobody even looked at it. But I felt it and I recognized, you know, like free people just uses pretty high quality fabric. So I, and I can usually tell by feel whether it's free people or something like a Knox Rose. But this is definitely free people. It is a size medium, which is a good size, all black. It's got this cute little like crochet lace inset here in the middle. It's in great shape. After a bath and a steam, this is going to look beautiful. So probably for rompers, I generally see like, 30 to 40, uh, they go really well for me. So definitely keep your eyes out for free people rompers. I do not find them frequently, uh, but when I do and they're in great condition, I always snag them, even if I'm paying up a little bit at like a regular thrift store. Next up, now this is a little Athleta like long sleeve t-shirt. Again, this is not something that I would necessarily source for a higher dollar amount, but I like the color. It's a size medium, oh, this doesn't have the name on it, but this is something that'll probably go 25 to $30. I feel like I've had this exact shirt, like in the past, like I've had it personally, because I remember these kind of slimmer arms with a little bit more of a domain sleeve. So probably again, like 25 to 30, and this will probably go pretty quickly. It's in fabulous condition, like it does not appear to have been worn much if at all so definitely a good find but again something to keep in mind your costs if you do see that while you are outsourcing next up for sure something i would never tell you to source at a regular thrift store but these are free people uh, like intimately free people little leopard skin bike shorts this is something that'll probably go pretty quick right now it's their size small uh, extra small small but with Mob Wife and that kind of vibe happening right now, these will fly, I think, out of the closet. I've had other pairs of these that have sold, like my own, that I just like didn't wear all that much. And they've all sold really quickly. And, and I'll probably get like 15 to 20 bucks for this. So again, not something I'd pay up for, but for a buck all day. And these are like brand new condition. Typically when Intimately has this kind of like screen printed logo here, it wears off very quickly with wash so that's a good way to tell like how much they've actually been worn and washed and this is like crisp and pretty much brand new so cute little find right next up here now we're getting to the end of the bag from that first store so this is a cute little maxi skirt from joe's jeans and i don't know if you can see the detail here but like the top is like a like a pleece like almost like a crinkle pleece and then the bottom is this like ultra lightweight jersey I don't know if you can see like 
don't know if you can see my hand through it, but this is really very, very cute. I do love a maxi skirt. I, they tend to sell really well for me, especially a black maxi skirt because it's such a closet staple. And again, this is from Joe's Jeans, which is an expensive brand. It does not sell for what it used to. It is an extra small. So I think this is something I'll see probably like 28 to 32 on. And I would not be surprised if this sold really, really quick. It's got like a raw edge here on the hem. It is so soft. It feels like, I mean, this feels whisper light. It's just really cute and it flares out nicely and it's kind of cut on the bias. So it's got like little diagonal, it's got diagonal seams there. So it's just flattering. It's a flattering cut and light as a feather fabrication. Really, really cute. I'm taking a chance on this. I haven't picked up Joe's jeans in a long time. I see a lot of it in the bins, but this I just thought was something that would move. It's a great closet staple. Next up, ah, these are from Free People Beach. And okay, so a couple weeks ago, and I'll link the haul below, I wore this green sleeveless sweater. A couple people like commented, I like it. I think that it was part of a set. And I think that these are the bottoms that were part of the set. I did thrift it. I thrifted it probably a year or so ago. And it probably had a pair of green pants, but I think that these were the same, this was the same model. So these are Free People Beach. And they're knit, they're like sweater pants, and they're kind of like, let me see, they're like joggers, but again, knits. They have a nice weight to them, a nice drape to them. And they are cream, they're a size medium. Free People Beach things. Now this is kind of a weird thing that I have experienced. When I have sold things that have been part of a set, like either the top that was part of a set or a bottom that was part of a set. They move so quick for me. And I don't know if it's because Free People doesn't sell them in anything other than a set and they only want the one piece or the other. But every time I found something, I recently found a pair of shorts, same deal, they were part of a set and it's got like so much action. But yeah, I don't know what it is, but these sell really, really quickly for me. These are in like, they're cream, so you know, Lots of opportunity for damage here, but they're in fabulous condition, size medium. Again, Free People Beach sells well for me. I could see somebody throwing this on over a bathing suit, wearing it around the... Uh, I'm not quite sure what I'll get on that. Maybe 30, 35, maybe a little bit more on those. We'll find out, but definitely like, I definitely the bottom half to that sweater that I was wearing. Obviously not the same color, but definitely the bottom half of that set. Next up, okay, now this is J. Crew, and then this is another brand I rarely pick up. I see so much J. Crew in the bins. And it just doesn't move for me super quickly, but this just felt timely. It's 100% linen. It's a cute little top. It's peach. Remember fuzzy peach being the color of the year from Pantone. It's got these cute tie straps, which are super adjustable. Somebody like, like I'm really short from here to here, so I always appreciate having adjustable straps. Size medium in like, like new condition. Obviously I'll give this a bath and a steam but I'll probably get 25 to $35 on this. Linen's just flying out of my closet right now, but super cute. And this is again, like, I mean, of course, you know, like I generally have a policy that I don't pick up J. Crew at all, but this just had all the things going for it that made me set aside that kind of policy. Cause I know that this will sell just on style and just on like textile. So perfect example of a place to do that. Now this was something that I found that I had to grab. This is Talbots. Again, I don't pick up a ton of Talbots. I don't think I do too well with it. But this shirt is such a classic. And I knew, I, I just know that this will go quick. This, so this is Patchwork Madras. And um, fun story, I had this book that I found in my parents' basement. It's been out of print for probably 30 years at this point. And it's called The Preppy Handbook. Apparently it's worth something. I will never sell it. It's like, I love it. But it's all like, it's all satire. Actually, I had to run down and get it. This is the book. <laughs> and like, look at the cover. Even the cover is Madras. This is the original one that came out in 1980. And again, it's all satire and how to dress and all, it's so funny. And then they came out, the same author came out with a newer version called True Prep. And they did this with Chip Kidd, who's like one of the most legendary book cover designers. He did like the Vonnegut V covers. Anyway, like if you're a book nerd like me, you might know who Chip Kidd is. But anyway, I love satire books, but <laughs> as soon as I saw this, I thought of this book. So I think I'll probably get, I don't know, 20 five to 35 on this. I get, it's just such a classic and it's patchwork madras and 
you know, it's just like, it's like a Cape Cod classic. And then finally, this is the last thing that I got from that first store. This is a little Tra Travis Matthew. Travis Matthew is like a, like a golf brand and they don't sell. So there's another brand called Peter Millar, M-I-L-L-A-R, that sells for more than Travis Matthew, but Travis Matthew also sells really well. They do a lot of like just, you know, really high end, you know, golf shirts, but also with like kind of a more modern design than your traditional like foot joy or, or whatever. So I grabbed this, I'll probably get 20, $25 on this, but cute little top. It's in fantastic condition and it is a size small. So that'll make that move a little bit slower, but there are buyers out there. So on to the next store, and this is something that I got that's just not for sale. I got this for my friend's kid. I'm gonna wash it up. We are from the Philly area. Our friends who live here are from the Philly area, and one of them is like the biggest Eagles fan in the world, and their son is a huge Eagles fan. So I found this fun vintage Eagles little apron. I figure, you know, he can wear this when he's like helping them cook or like doing an art project. And on the back, like you flip the you flip the little thing down it says time out i don't know i just thought that this was so stinking cute not for sale this is true vintage this is probably 80s you can just tell by the color of the green and the logo that they use and the script down here but i just thought this was really fun i'm gonna put this like immediately in the wash <laughs> but such a cool little find i had to share it with you now this is one that i kind of had to grab and it's funny like as i was checking this in all i could think of was that episode of Seinfeld with the puffy shirt. Like, I don't want to be the puffy shirt guy. So it's, it's a puffy shirt. I feel ridiculous in it. Because this is basically this shirt. This is a pretty cream blouse, 100% silk with this, like, double ruffle collar. Like, I remember begging my mom for one of these kind of, like, I, I think we called them peasant shirts back in the day. But this is by Preston in New York, which I believe is a pretty high-end brand back in the day. And this is in gorgeous condition, size medium. This will sell just on its style, just on its fabric content. Probably, I, I don't know, but I'm probably gonna bank on about 30 for this. It's just a great find. I'm not gonna turn down a cream silk shirt in any iteration ever, probably. Next up, I don't do a ton of swimsuits. I'll find swimsuits, like again, I'm in California, so I will find swimsuits in like November. And right now what I'm finding is a lot of like kind of overstock that I think is coming from like Target or Walmart. And those I won't necessarily touch, but this grabbed my eye because it's very like retro. This is a halter neck here. And the brand on this, this is brand new with tags. Another reason that I grabbed it. The brand on this is Esther Williams. And if you don't know who Esther Williams is, and I'm gonna see if I can find like a video clip or something like that. I, I don't know what's gonna be out there, but if you remember in like old timey movies when they would have like a scene where they had like synchronized swimmers and you know, they, they were all kind of like dolled up, fancy swim caps, and they sometimes had like the little nose pinch on it. So the, the star that did that was named Esther Williams. And I just, I just, I had to get this. And I think that they sell these on like mod cloth. I think that this will actually sell. Like I've seen sold comps for like similar swimsuits from Esther Williams in the like $45 range. So I'm pretty excited about it. It's very, very cute. And uh, again, it's brand new with tags, which always makes me happy, especially with swim. Cause that's, you know, that's a concern. But anytime I get to think about Esther Williams, I'm happy. So next up, now this is something that I grabbed and I'm not quite sure why this was very much a gut thing, but it's a cute little brown hoodie and it says, you matter. This was really what made me pick it up because I just, I know the cost on like adding additional embroidery and stuff. So this was upside down. So it's, it's meant to be read by the wearer and there is embroidery on both sleeves. And on one side it says, I feel weak. And then on the other sleeve it says, but I know I'm strong. And I just love that. I had no idea who the maker was, but then I saw the tag and the tag felt very high end. And this is You Matter by Demetrius Harmon. And sold comps on these are in the $50 to $100 range. I also just absolutely love the message of this. I love everything about this sweatshirt. I wish it was my size. If it was my size, it wouldn't be leaving. You know I love a good sweatshirt, but I just thought that this was really cool and I really, really love it. 
and definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. I don't, if, if any of you have ever found something by the same uh, designer, let me know. I've never heard of them before. I've never seen them before, but I will for sure be keeping my eyes out. And I'll be keeping my eyes on the brand because I do love this. This is 100% something that I would like pay for retail because this makes me happy. And in case nobody's told you today, that's right. Next up here, this is a great little piece from Zara. This is a size medium and there's that, that circle that means it's part of the Zara women's collection. So this is a little halter top, a little white linen blend halter top. So cute. It's got that kind of like decorative knot there. This needs a bath and a steam and this will be something that looks a lot better once I put it on a mannequin. It's got a side zip. It's in fabulous condition. But the thing that really got me is the fact it is stretch. It does have some stretch to it, but it is linen blend. So it has that kind of linen texture to it, which I love because I mean, it's the only downside of linen is that usually it's rigid. So probably, I don't know, 25 bucks on this. Shirts like this from Zara don't necessarily go super high unless there's something that's like a blogger's favorite, but they are reliable sellers. So if I'm able to source them for the right price, I will always pick up stuff like that. Next up, now I thought this was so cute. This is from UMG. I pick up some things from UMG. Some things go really quick, some things don't. This is a perfect example of something that I think will go super quick. That's UMG. And I think UMG is a like a higher end boutique brand and people kind of follow it. But I just like this cute little dress. It's just like a little like off the shoulder or, you know, up on the shoulder ruffle neck dress. It's in this pretty like dusty pink. It's got pockets. It's super soft jersey. It's in great shape. It does have a little like button front placket, which I love. I'll probably see about 30 to $35 on this. And again, something I think that'll sell really quick. Now is the time for pieces like this. Okay, so next up here. Now it is on the brink of summer. So I am trying not to source too many sweaters, but this one I could not resist. This was just so unusual. Like, let me get you up close on this knit. It's got like confetti. It's got these kind of like longer pieces, but this is by design. Like this is how this is designed. This just feels very artsy and interesting. The designer is Patrizia Luca from Milan. And I believe this is a pretty high end designer. It's a size small. I just like this was so different that I had to give it a chance. So if any of you have ever sold something from this designer or seen something from this designer, let me know down below. It was just so different and so unusual and so beautifully made that I couldn't leave it behind. It's just such a cool piece. I have no idea what I'll get for this. Maybe 30 to 40 bucks. Next up here, this is a cute little dress from Maeve. I will always pick up little like navy blue dresses from Maeve. These are the kind of things that are so easy to like throw on for work, you know, throw a cardigan over it and you're done. This is just navy blue. It's a size medium. It's got these cute little like buttons on it are kind of like a gunmetal color, which I like. It's a little bit different. I feel like I've been seeing a lot of gold and I think silver starting to come back in. It's got pockets again with like little rivets that are that same kind of steel color. And the bottom is a little bit of a curved hem with a nice like heavy, tall hem. So anyway, I thought that this was a cute little find. I'll probably see 25, 35 bucks on this. And I wouldn't be surprised if this sold pretty quickly again. It's just a classic. And Maeve of all of the anthropology brands, I feel like Maeve is one of the ones that sells the best for me. It doesn't sell for what it used to for sure, but it is like of the brands. It's something that people really seek out. It's like one of their more well-known brands. Okay, so here's a lesson learned. Are you ready? <laughs> so I grabbed this. This is like a little tie-dye, it's a cotton sweater. So I'm thinking like this is a summer weight sweater. And the brand on this is Design History. And Design History, I've had a few sweaters from Design History, pretty high end. They were sold at Neiman Marcus, really, really gorgeous. So I just grabbed this without doing any comps on this. And sure enough, it turns out that this was a sweater that I'm, I'm assuming that this was a sweater that they designed and produced specifically for, for, it was either a Costco or a BJ's. They sold pretty inexpensively. So I wanna say, I wanna say they sold these for like $49, which is very cheap for this brand. Uh, usually their sweaters are in the two to $300 range. So 
on the resale market, not only is there a lot of these, but they're going for almost nothing. So, it, you know, again, it goes to show that like, if you have the time, definitely run the comps because this was a lesson learned. You know, don't get me wrong, it's pretty nice. You know, I'll, I'll probably see like 15 bucks on this. That's about what I'm seeing the sold comps going for on this. But, you know, so that just goes to show like, if I were, you know, if I were sourcing for $10 a sweater, I would be paying money to sell this. Like I would be paying money out of my pocket to sell this. So lesson learned. Next up here, this is another piece from Free People that again, desperately needs a bath and a steam. This is just a cute little like apron dress almost. So this is like a halter neck and then it has this cute little tiered skirt. It looks, it's definitely dusty. This was in the bottom of a bin. So it's got like dust marks all over it, but it's a size medium. And again, these kind of things right now in festival season, like this is so light and breezy. I'll probably see, I'd say about $35 on that, maybe a little bit more. It's super cute and that'll look good. Like that's definitely something that I will put on the mannequin to photograph. Now, next up, this is something that I don't know if this is like the official one, but this is a cute little sweatshirt from the Harry Styles tour. The, uh, what is it called? The Love On Tour. And I just like the color and I like the like design style. I, I'm going to offer this to a friend of mine who has kind of a special memory from this tour. She went to this tour at the Kia Forum and um, I just don't think, it, I don't know if it's going to fit her. I think it's a size small and I think she generally likes to wear her stuff a little oversized, but if she doesn't want it, I'll probably get, I don't know, 15, 20 bucks for it. I'll have to do a little bit more research to see if it is in fact like one of the official sweatshirts because you know that there's always guys selling bootlegs out in the parking lot and it could very well be something like that. There's a couple little things on here that make me think that it might be the case, but you just never know. So um, I will check this with my friend first, but if not, I'll put that up live. Keep your eyes out for those tour shirts, uh, especially super popular, you know, musicians. Of course, Taylor Swift, we all know that. Like if you find a Taylor Swift tour shirt, like just buy it. That stuff goes for like $100 and up. You know, Billie Eilish, Harry Styles, that like anything like also K-pop, like Blackpink, stuff like that. Those things go for a good clip. This I grabbed, I didn't know this brand, it's Rebel Karma and Barbie. Now this is brand new with tags. I would say it says super rich. Like I saw the tag and it's from Wet Seal, so I don't know, I, I might donate this right back. But this Rebel Karma has some things that sells like that, you know, these kind of like limited edition collabs that sell really well. Again, I'm sourcing this for a dollar. So, you know, for me, not only is it, you know, an experimentation, it's not a super expensive experimentation, but it's also something I can share with you guys. So I don't know, 10 bucks, 15 bucks, maybe. It is kind of fun. I do, I do love a Barbie moment, but again, I was rushing out the door and I didn't really comp that in store. So here we are. And in sharp contrast to a funny Barbie tank top, we've got a vintage cashmere cardigan and guys this okay so the brand is dalton cashmere and like this smells like sweet old lady and i don't know how to explain it but you know what i'm talking about <laughs> you know what i'm talking about so it's dalton cashmere and it's this cute little cropped cardigan with a little tie in the bottom and y'all this is in perfect perfect condition there are no holes there are no stains there are no moth holes I, like to find cashmere at this age, I'm gonna guess this is probably at the youngest from the 60s. To find something this old in this good a condition, no stains, no nothing, no nothing. This doesn't even feel like it's been worn much. Like there's no, you know, cashmere, more so than a lot of different wools, will pill like under the arms, nothing. I would be surprised if this was ever worn. It's just, it's impeccable. I'll probably get maybe $50, $60 for this. Cause this is something that if you are somebody who loves vintage fashion, this is like a go with everything piece that is incredibly hard to find. It's a go with everything piece that is not only true vintage, it's high quality true vintage being cashmere and it's like mint condition, true quality vintage. So this is kind of like a unicorn in the vintage world. And I cannot believe I cannot believe this got to the bins now that I think about it. Cause you typically, if it comes from a store, it'll still have the Goodwill tag on it. And there was no Goodwill tag on this, but I was so excited to find this. And I'm going to put this like immediately in the cedar closet to keep that safe. But what a cool find, like 
You never find vintage cashmere without moth holes. Almost ever. So next up here, so Pilcrow and the letterpress, I don't pick up all the jeans, but when I find these like boho style jeans with like the patches, I will always pick them up. They just, they sell really well. This is something that I'll use the tag like Lot and Look, I'll use, you know, this will go to somebody who buys like Magnolia Pearl. You know what I'm saying? Like that, it's kind of got that vibe to it. They're like these boyfriend, so they're not skinny jeans. They're not like baggy jeans. They fit kind of loose. They're like a boyfriend style. Size 27. I literally just sold a pair of these like in the last week. Not these in particular, but Pilcro jeans that had little patches on them. I just think they're so cute. And these are in fabulous shape. I'll probably see 30 to $40 on these. Again, I don't pick all of their jeans, but anything that's got this kind of like patchwork look to it, for sure I will pick up and you should too, because they will sell. Next up, I grabbed this, this is 47. I think I talked about 47 in a couple uh, videos ago, but 47 is just one of those brands, they make sportswear, but their stuff is really high quality. Like they use better than, uh, they use like really nice fabrics. Like this is a slub cotton. And this is just like a little Notre Dame top. This will probably go 25 to 30 bucks. I've had a lot of 47 stuff that sells very, very well. They tend, you know, it's not like over the top and uh, it doesn't look like the stuff you necessarily find in like the gift shop at the stadium. They're like, they tend to have a little bit of a classier look, a little bit more of a minimalist look to their stuff. And I, I just really like it. But this Notre Dame, you know, this is one of those colleges that have fans all over the world. It's good quality. It's a size medium. Definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. Again, maybe not something I would be sourcing for $10. But if you're able to source for a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, all day, pick up 47 pieces. As long as it's like, you know, I try to like, I see a lot of 47 stuff in there, but I'm only really going to pick stuff that's like from a team that has kind of a global audience. So think like Yankees and Dodgers and Red Sox for baseball and like the Cowboys or the Giants for football. You know, in colleges, you've got Notre Dame, you've got UCLA, stuff like that. St stuff that people will buy just, you know, like they have legacy fan fandoms of it. So definitely a good, a good thing to find. Next up, excited to find this. This is a nice piece from Vince. Vince is super high end. Bought, they, sell, they sell it at Saks Fifth Avenue. This is just like a little faux layered top, which I love. It's a size extra small, but this is very oversized for an extra small. But you know, this is something that I, I like this because you can like throw this on with leggings and look like you have like a whole outfit with it just being basically like a double layer t-shirt. Because the underside of this, oh it is. So this, this like under layer actually goes all the way up. Like the buttons only go to here, but the under layer goes all the way up. So it is, it does have the feel of a layered piece. But this was probably a good $200 at Saks Fifth Avenue. I'll probably see 35 to $40 on this. Vince stuff does move quickly for me. This is an extra small, so it will probably sit a little bit longer, but it's in fabulous condition and it's definitely like a classic piece. So I don't think that this will, sit around for all that long. We are getting there, guys. Now this was something I threw into my bag as I was leaving and I I haven't even really done the research on it just yet. This brand is called Soul Collective and I grabbed these just, like this is something that I think will sell just on the style. These are kind of like a mustard brown color, wide leg with a little seam there in the front, pull on trousers. They're really cute. They're like a size, uh, they're size medium, fabulous condition. I don't know if this is a good brand. I would not, you know, don't take my word for it. I don't know if this is a Bolo brand, but it has like, you know, it's got some nice construction notes on it that I do like, like the elastic, you can tell is stitched in three places. So it's not going to like fold over. You know what I'm talking, if you know, you know, like where the elastic like folds over inside the waistband. And that's usually a good tell of quality if they have it stitched in so that it's always going to kind of lay flat. But I don't know. I mean, I think at least maybe $20 on this just on style alone. I'll have to do a little bit more research. Ooh, I don't even think I noticed that. The bottom of the legs have like a nice slit to them. So it'll, I like that. I like that. I think maybe $25 now. All right, cautionary tale time, guys. So this pair of pants, I felt they, they were inside out when they were in the bins. I felt them and they were kind of in a pile with a bunch of other leggings. So I'm wondering if this was a situation where like a specific Goodwill store just like cleared out a rack of leggings. 
because every other legging that I looked in, you know, was, you know, Dan Skin or some other kind of brand that's not gonna resell. I just kept coming back to this because the fabric felt nice. Like I've never felt this fabric before, but the fabric felt nice. And I decided, I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna like, let me look around these, see if I can find a label. And somehow in there, I found in the pocket this little size dot. I'm like, these are Lulu. And sure enough, turned them right side out. And there is the Lululemon branding. So I have never seen these pants before in my life. I don't know what style they are. I'm gonna have to do a little hunting for them. And <laughs> this is so interesting. So, so this is the inside of the waistband, right? So you see the little drawstrings there. And on the front side where those drawstrings come out, they have little slits where it can come out the front too. I don't know, Does, is anybody out there familiar with this style? I'm sure I'll find it. You know, there's a ton of like Lululemon fanatics. But these are in great shape. I like that they kind of have a little bit of like sweatpant styling to them. They have like the kind of these kind of like outstitched pockets here. Super cute. I'm gonna say probably 35 bucks on this. Uh, I think they're a little bit older just going on the size dot, but they're super cute and pretty good condition. So always excited to find Lululemon in the bins, especially when it's something that like I was gonna walk away from and I just kept going back to like touch the fabric. So next up here, and this is an exciting find. This is a beautiful pair of trousers from Escada. Super high-end, like ultra luxury designer, you know, Neiman Marcus level. These are just a black pair of trousers with a cuff hem, crease on the front, crease on the back. Got silk on the inside of the waistband here. They are unlined. These are 100% wool in fabulous shape, size 38, which I believe is a size six or eight. I think that's a size eight now that I'm looking at it. High-waisted. I think that these will go really quick. And I love that the buttons have a little bit of a purple sheen to them. Uh, this is exciting. I haven't done much comping. Like I just grabbed this because I know it's Escada and I know Escada is an incredibly expensive uh, designer, but probably about a thousand dollars. So somewhere in that 50 to $150 range. And they are very much a classic style and a style that's like kind of in right now. I don't think that these will sit around for too terribly long. That was an exciting find. Next up, now this I found kind of wrapped up in a ball and I just like, I loved the fabric, like this feels like silk. I don't think it is silk. I think this is like a cotton, maybe a cotton silk blend. Um, anyway, but I looked closer and I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see this. The brand on this is Powder. Like the label is yellow lettering on a pink background. So this is just like a little kimono robe. And it's got like, do you see how it's got the little like kimono style sleeve? See how it hangs down a little bit there? So this is a UK based brand and I love like, look at the trim. I like the trim and the belt and the belt's there, which is always exciting. This feels like it's brand new, but I this is a brand out of the UK. I wanna say they retail for about $100. Made in India. Okay, so it's modal. It's a modal blend. Uh, that makes sense. And anyway, so this I'll probably see 30 or 40 bucks for. I think that's about what I'm seeing sold comps go for, but I don't know how often you'll find this, but I 100% just grab this based on the pattern. I knew that this would sell based on the fabric and the pattern. Doesn't matter what brand this was, I would have grabbed it anyway. But very, very cool, and now I know about a new brand, and so do you. And finally, our last piece here, this was something, again, balled up in a corner, but I felt the fabric and I'm like, oh, that's really nice. And this is a beautiful black midi dress from Amanda Uprichard. And I believe that's the newer tag for Amanda Uprichard. They're a pretty high-end, uh, she's a pretty high-end designer. She sold it like Revolve, I think she sold it like Saks. Um, but this is just a beautiful like turtleneck, sleeveless, midi length dress with a slit up the one leg. I mean, this is about as perfect a little black dress as you can get. Size is a size large, you know, which is always good to find. Amanda Uprichard, I want to say this was probably $300, maybe a little bit more. And it's in fabulous condition. Like this does not feel like it's been worn. You know, sometimes yeah, on uh, black dresses, you have like the residual of deodorant here on the underarm and I don't see any. So I would not be surprised if this has not been worn at all. And this is definitely something I'll put on the mannequin because this will this will just show beautifully on the mannequin. I'll probably see $50, maybe a little bit more on this. Again, a perfect little black dress, always in style. And I think that this is current. I'm pretty sure that this is a current style that they are making right now. So very, very cool, very exciting. Maybe a little bit more, maybe closer to 100. I'm super, super pumped on this find. And finally, so 
my husband was home a couple weeks ago for a funeral unfortunately and I'm glad we were able to get him home he was able to stop in and stay with his parents for a day and when he came back he was I was working at my desk here and he comes in he's like so my mom sent something home with me for you uh, she said that you had sold something similar recently and he's like she had these you know from a while ago and I start laughing I was like is your mom packing some vintage Laura Ashley or something and uh yes yes she was so my mother-in-law <laughs> sent two of I guess these are her vintage dresses uh, from Laura Ashley which guys Laura Ashley sells anywhere between like 50 and 100 bucks sometimes up and these are definitely 80s and you can tell because they're both made in Great Britain but that's the label you're looking for so this is one and it's just like this is kind of I think this is actually flannel it's a little it's got a little bit of a like a like a brushed finish to it a little midi length it does it have pockets it feels like a pocket it is a pocket there you go pocket it's got this cute little like lace collar so these will sell super quick guys I'm telling you if you if you have old Laura Ashley in your closet or your mom or your aunts have old Laura Ashley and it's doing nothing in their closet like now is the time to sell it because people are buying it like crazy right now here's the other one I think this one will go pretty quick I mean does this scream Easter dress or does this scream Easter dress I'm willing to bet that this was her Easter dress but this is like a lightweight cotton it's got a shorter sleeve it's got that signature Laura Ashley kind of peasant sleeve like that pleated this one I don't think has pockets yeah that does not have pockets zip back again made in Great Britain I think this one is a little bit older than this one just by the style of, of the label but these again these will sell for like 50 bucks minimum like quick quick so like I said if you are packing some old Laura Ashley get it listed if it's doing nothing in that closet get it listed get it sold if you are not emotionally attached to it but very very cool I, I was not expecting that but guys that is the haul for today this was full of twists and turns and this bins location then we had to go to this bins location and we're finding kind of crazy things good I think some really good pieces I love that my mother-in-law sent home some vintage Laura Ashley for me what but for all of you numbers nerds out there so this has this haul had 42 pieces including the two Laura Ashley but I purchased 40 so it was a $40 investment and all in the retail value on this stuff and again some of the vintage pieces I'm, I'm guesstimating all in the retail value on this is over $5,500 for $40 which I will just like it always blows my mind but I think I've got sales here that's somewhere between $1,200 and $1,400 and that'll leave me a profit of about $1,000 to $1,100 with a $40 spend that brings my return on investment to a whopping 25x return on investment. I am super pumped about that. But thank you guys so much for hanging with me while I do this haul, while I go through all of my stuff. This is so fun for me, and I love that I get to share it with all of you. Your kind words, you have no idea. They just, they mean so much to me, and I, I just can never thank you enough for them. But guys, if you had fun, don't forget to hit like on this video. Don't forget to hit subscribe. I'd love to have you along on this journey. That all helps me so much with YouTube. But guys, without further ado, have the most incredible week. Happy hunting. Let me know what treasures you find along the way. And I will see you in the next one.